Hope died young for one of India's most articulate and modern politicians. Union Power Minister Rangarajan Kumaramangalam passed away after a dogged battle with blood cancer. He was 48. The scion of a rare political tradition, Ranga to his friends and admirers was a student politician and founder president of the National Students Union of India. Bubbling with ideas, Rangarajan was a strong proponent of economic liberalization and free market reforms. As an industry friendly minister who had an excellent rapport with various chambers of commerce, he gave a renewed thrust to the power sector. Analysts feel his death would create a big vacuum in the contemporary political setup. Like his father, he was a pioneer and a reformist. Uh, we only look at him as a power minister, but do not forget that in the last government, in the government of Mr. Nasima Rao, he held the electronics portfolio, science and technology portfolio. Uh, in fact, the information technology revolution which is taking place today, the seeds were sown then and we are reaping the harvest today. And uh, he was a physics graduate, so he knew what he was doing. It will be felt very badly in the power sector, which is if you see the industry reaction, which is it is all visible because he had a positive approach. Personal positive approach is also a must to encourage investment and motivating people. Experts argue his decision to join the BJP took everyone by surprise and suggested the degeneration creeping into the Congress edifice. Those who came into politics for an ideological content, I think uh, the uh, present state of affairs in Congress, which is, uh, with due respect, I would like to say, uh, rather apolitical in nature, apolitical. Uh, so the choice is between the, the devil and the deep sea. So I suppose it was a very difficult uh, thing for him to do, but he did it. He realized at that point of time that the Congress, number one, is unable to deliver. Uh, and he sincerely felt it. The only thing he was hesitant about is whether to go to BJP, what will people say? You know, ultimately everybody is concerned, but he took that hard decision because everybody said you will be ruined. Rangarajan had excelled himself as floor coordinator in the Lok Sabha. He was chief whip of the Congress party when Rajiv Gandhi was leader of the opposition and was later parliamentary affairs minister under Narasimha Rao. For his engaging charm, Rangarajan drew accolades from all sections of the political spectrum and presented, according to some, a positive face of the BJP. Critics stress it is a singular contribution that in future people all over the country may have access to cheap power and the vast hydel potential of the nation may be tapped. He entered the portal to the power ministry as a trade unionist. He had led the Desu workers in Delhi also. And by that he learned the, about the transmission losses, the thefts and everything that all the knowledge that he required in his various capacities as a student leader, as a trade unionist, as a lawyer, as a student of physics, as a person who had done some business also for a little while. He put it to good use as a minister for the nation's good. And uh, like his father, he has left a indelible mark behind. In uh Heidel sector, he would have contributed more because he was committed to Heidel. He knew that gas is important, coal is important, but his heart was in Heidel. And uh, he, he, I mean, his dream was that India must have a Heidel share of 40 percent, which is somewhere now very far below. And uh, he used to even push sometimes things, bringing him into controversies. A polyglot who excelled in donning several hats at the same time, Kumara Mangalam pushed through policy initiatives with an avowed pro-reform stance. He pushed through the ordinance for a regulatory mechanism to privatization of the transmission sector. Prone to handling tricky issues with kid gloves, his unwavering stand on the past strike in Uttar Pradesh helped the state government resist populist measures. He knew how to deal with the ordinance as well. Plus, the advantage during the strike was that the BJP uh, uh, cabinet minister in Delhi was Rangarajan Kondam. The Lok Tantric Congress Party power minister in Lucknow was Naresh Agarwal, a 
person who had joined the NSUI under Mr. Kumar Nandamurthy. 